Hey, what's going on? This is Instructor Mike. All right, you can follow me on Facebook at Mike Brown or Instructor Mike. You can follow me on Instagram at Yes Mike Said It. You can subscribe to my YouTube page, Instructor Mike. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. All right, so you've heard me talk about appendix holsters and things like that. Uh, I've had my opinions about them or whatnot. I figured I'd gone ahead and just try a different kind of holster. And here we have the DeSantis Hidden Truth uh, appendix holster. This one's for the Glock 19 uh, nine millimeter semi-automatic firearm, striker fired. Of course it has where the gun goes as well as where the extra magazine goes, okay? And typically you carry it right in front in your appendix, okay? Um, here's my thoughts about the holster, okay? Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm in a vehicle, uh, and then you're gonna see me on the range and then we'll go on ahead and end with some thoughts about the holster. Here we go. All right, so here I am trying this holster uh, in the inside of my vehicle, okay? Uh, and I'm carrying it, this is the DeSantis holster. I'm gonna go on ahead and show it to you again. And you know, I do carry uh, appendix of the many places that I carry. And of course you talked about, you know, you heard me talk about, well, being a, a guy with a bit of a stomach, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, can we still carry appendix? And so I'm trying this out. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do have a holster that I carry appendix outside of the waistband. You've seen me demonstrate that before, but I'm trying to see if uh, there are certain kinds of holsters where you might be able to do it. And granted, it's a little bit of discomfort, a little bit of discomfort. I guess it takes some getting used to, but that's with anything new, I guess. So uh, here's how it looks now. And then uh, let's go to the range and try it out.
you gotta watch your undershirts. Make sure they're tucked in all the way. All right, here we go, welcome back. All right, so my thoughts about the holster is this. Um, I will say this, I like it, but I don't wear it all the time, okay? Uh, as I began to, you know, eat throughout the day and then drink liquids and your stomach tends to expand, well, this holster tends to push into your pelvic area. So uh, it's nice, it's still nice. I still love it though, by the way. And I'm gonna still keep it and still use it. Uh, but I will tell you this, don't have just one holster, okay? Even right now, I have on a different holster, my Safari Land holster, and I have my outside the waistband appendix holster, you know, for my uh, other firearm. You know, and I'll, I'll shift depending upon uh, what I'm doing, where I'm going, things like that. Uh, and I tend to have a bag where I tend to keep a few holsters in the event I need to shift and change and stuff like that, okay? And that's another suggestion too. Uh, you never know where you're gonna go, where you're gonna be, you know, what you're gonna do throughout the day. So it just depends, it's, it's subjective, you know, so, uh, for you. Uh, there is no such thing as one holster for everything. It's, it's no such thing, okay? Uh, you're gonna hear me do another video, I'm gonna put up another video, perhaps maybe tomorrow, about a inside the waistband holster uh, that I'm not necessarily a fan of, even though it fits a lot of guns. So we'll talk about that, let's get back to this. Um, the holster was very sturdy, you know? Some of you all may have, may have watched the video and was like, oh my God, he's gonna shoot his junk off. <laughs> I know some of you all said that. Uh, and some of you all were like, well, how does he know exactly where to put that firearm? How is he sure how uh, uh, to just be able to put that firearm exactly where it needs to go without missing? You know, is he going to clip the trigger against this little part right here? And sometimes that can happen. That's something that you're aware of. All right. So if you go on ahead and you continue to perform the task, OK, they say that perfect practice makes perfect performance. So if you continue to perform the task, I don't necessarily like the term muscle memory, okay? Uh, ask a stroke patient if their muscles maintain the memory of how to perform. You get a stroke, it erases that stuff. You have to continue to learn to do it the right way because you can learn to do it the wrong way and you develop a habit of doing things the wrong way. So as long as the holster is in the, is in the area where it's supposed to be and you continue to practice your correct revolutions or your correct repetitions, of this particular task, making sure that you're grabbing the firearm the way you're supposed to, projecting that firearm out and then putting it back inside. As you can see, I've done some uh, uh, some tactics with my off hand or my support hand, which then became my strong hand once my primary strong hand was down, okay? Uh, it then became in inoperable and I had to adjust, okay, and continue to move forward. And that's to use what is now gonna be my strong hand, okay? So as long as you continue to uh, repeat the right task or the right uh, 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 stance, if you will, and you continue to do it right, you'll, get, you'll begin to continue to shape those neurons and they'll begin to be wrapped around doing the habit or doing the thing, the physical uh, task the right way. So that way it becomes like second nature. And that is ultimately the goal. Whatever we do, we wanna do it to where it is second nature, to where we don't have to think about it, our body just gets the stimulus, it has the pre-planned pre response, and then we just perform that task accordingly, okay? So, all in all, I do like this uh, DeSantis Hidden Truth holster, okay? Not something I would wear every day, all day, but if the situation dictated it, it is definitely a quick option for being able to secure the firearm, being able to protect it, and being able to deploy that firearm quickly when you need to, all right? This is Instructor Mike and you've been trained. Follow me on Facebook at Mike Brown or Instructor Mike. Follow me on Instagram at Yes Mike Said It. Subscribe to my YouTube page, Instructor Mike. Hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications. Make sure you get your butt in someone's concealed carry course. It is no one's job to protect you but you. I'll see you on the freaking range.